Hey, what's up everyone? Adobe Masters here, today with another tutorial on Adobe InDesign. I thought after you, know, you get through the basics, a really neat thing and something really important to learn about this program, and I believe it's in a couple other Adobe programs, is the idea of styles. Styles are the ability to synchronize different parts of the process um, together. So you create a style and then you can apply it to a bunch of different areas, and that way they all have the exact same appearance, size, uh, spacing, etc. And what's really cool is if you apply them to a bunch of different areas, then you actually get the chance to do um, changes to that style and it'll manipulate and change all of them at the exact same time. So you can do a style swap really, really quickly. So for example, if you had all of them red and you wanted to try out the green, all you have to do is change the style color to green and bada boom, whole thing goes green or at least where you applied the style, keeping everything together and congruent. So Let's go over character and paragraph styles, uh, text styles. Basically, the best way to do this is just go into window and go to styles and then open up character styles or paragraph styles. Click on one of those and it'll um, open up, it'll probably pop up somewhere and then just drag it on over to this panel over here. And then you have your styles up. There's also object styles, which I'll grab and we can do those as well, um, or at least look at them because they have the exact same principle. So we have character style. Let's start off with paragraph styles. So I have, it always starts with basic paragraph and character styles is none. Um, you can import styles from people. You can save them and export them and then uh, drag them in, stuff like that. Uh, really, really easy to move back and forth and maybe a company might have a set of styles that they always use to keep it congruent throughout the entire company. So what you wanna do is if you've already created something and you like the style of what has been created, you can highlight that area and then click this little button right here, create new style. And so now what it did was it created a style with all of these attributes added into it. So whatever we did, if we added, you know, if we said we needed a little bit more spacing, if we stretched out the letters, if we made them bigger, taller, colored them, whatever, it's going to put it in this style. And then to manipulate that, we can just double click a little bit outside of there. If you click on the inside, you can rename it quickly or you can name it right here. So let's just name this main paragraphs. Um, browsine. Okay, so that's our style for this. We can create a group for maybe this whole project or a company based on this, you know, sort of area. And so now we have the styles, and now we have all this stuff that we can change in here. Um, basically, this is anything you can do with text. So right now it's 23 font because up here it was 23, and it was Trade Gothic LTCD, LTSTD because that's what it started as as well. If we wanted to, let's say, make it all, um, let's make it all one point smaller, uh, paragraph rules, indents and spacing, left indent, I don't know. You could bump that up to something like that. <laughs> um, and you can actually drag this over and click preview, and it'll, you can kind of see what you're doing here. Paragraph shading, that's interesting. We don't want that on. But as you can see, <laughs> um, you can go through here and you can manipulate it and change it around and make the style that you want. So yeah, click OK, and then so now that's our style, and then now if we highlight this down here, we can go ahead and just click on Marin Paragraph, and you can see now the styles are together. And now when we manipulate this right here again, um, go in here and we lower this, it lowers all of those with the exact same style. So we can keep them all together. And so you wanna create a style for each piece that's going to be different. So for example, we want this to be its own style, so just go ahead and create it double tap right there and um, let's say header really quick there and so now if we ever want to make something a header we could even just highlight right here and click header but see now this is the the point right here is that it's only going to grab each paragraph which usually is about a um, let's say it's about a sentence every time um, so that's why you can't really do sort of the, that really tiny manipulation with just um, paragraph styles because every time it indents or you move to the next one I uh, hit tab here and so it created a new one right here and since it read a tab um, it actually uh, since it read a tab it stops the paragraph style at the tab mark it stops it at the sentence ending mark right there and you can kind of see those uh, there's a way to turn those on and you can actually see them because they're, they're hidden characters that, that tell it what to do but anyway so that brings us to the next thing. So then, 
we created some paragraph styles, so they're very good to make really big things um, every time we want to make a header or an entire paragraph. But what happens if we want to actually do what I was trying to do, and we want to bold this right here, and maybe make it a different color, have it pop a little bit. Then we move over here into character styles. Paragraph styles is going to go until the end marker of whatever you're trying to do, um, whether it be a tab, a space, or a whole new paragraph. Not a space, but anyway. <laughs> um, so in characters, you can go into here and... You can do the exact same thing. You can highlight something and start from it. We're just going to click one. We're going to create it from scratch. Just create it a new one. It's going to go with whatever the default settings that Adobe has set it at. And then we're going to go into here and actually, you know what? It's easier if we just do this because it's going to want to it's going to want us to put everything in there. So we're going to create this one. Click drag, delete. Drag, delete. Character style 2 here. Okay, so now we have the basics in here, we will actually, we're just gonna have to set this. Okay, 25 point. And so now we created a character style. Um, we can go in here and we can manipulate the color as well. Let's do that. So let's make it a pink. Okay, and then we're gonna redo the none there. And then so now we have this character style that is, actually, oh, I just had one more idea. We can actually go here and make this, um, make this bold as well. Click OK on there, and so now let's say um, easy. We can we can make this go like this. Click the character style, and boom! Now it's bolded and colored. Uh, we think new is something people should pay attention to. Uh, every time the browser on app comes up, we should you know bold that, and yeah. So yeah, you can do stuff like that. You could make a bunch of these, and it's very easy to kind of change the accent. So you're like. I like this, I like the bold where they're at, but the pink just doesn't go with the rest of the stuff here. So, you know, we can just go back into character color and maybe red does it. Click on preview to see it. Maybe green. And so now you have all the styles linking back and forth in between the stuff. So, yeah, that's character styles, that's paragraph styles. Exact same thing can be done to objects right here. Um, objects would require a picture, an image like that. Exact same principle. Uh, you can click on the object, create a new one, it's going to uh, so like let's say you have drop shadow or a big border on it or something you can create a style for that and then Apply it to all the objects that you want that particular style to apply to and then you can manipulate them all at the same time Well, that's that's about it for this tutorial. Thanks everyone for joining me um, I hope you guys use styles a lot. They are really important in Creating this and especially I mean this is just a one-page document imagine if you had a 45 page document and Every third paragraph, you like to start with, you know, a little bold thing, a little bold word or something like that, or every paragraph even. Um, the first letter of every paragraph starts, you know, like really big or something like that. It's really helpful to just highlight, click it, highlight, click it, and then if you ever need to manipulate it, you don't have to go through and change all 45 of those starting paragraphs or even more because it's 45 pages long. You can just change the style and it'll do it all for you. Thanks, everyone. Uh, if you want to see more Adobe-related content, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you've got any comments, post them in the comments below, and I will be sure to answer them to the best of my knowledge. And until next time, guys, see ya.